This is how you could be a successful sports better in 90 days. In this video, I'm gonna break down step-by-step step and show you exactly how you're gonna set yourself up for success in the next 90 days. Now, let's talk about the first thing right off the bat. First thing is going to be, you wanna make sure that you have multiple sports book accounts. Very important. Because if you don't have multiple sports books, you are at a disadvantage to where you will not be able to find certain plays that others that have all their sports books that are available can find. Because when you are actually trying to be successful in sports betting, you will need to find bets that are not available at every single sports book. So if you just have one or two sports books, but you have 15 or 20 that are available to you, you're at a disadvantage. You need to be able to line shop and be able to find certain bets that other sports books don't have, which you can only do if you have access to multiple sports books. Now, people that don't have access to legal sports books, you can also do it offshore. You need multiple offshore sports books. So that way you can look through those sports books as well. So it's not an excuse, you know, to say, I don't have access to these types of sports books, so I'm not going to do it. No, you could do offshore. You could find 10 offshore sports books and be able to look for certain bets within there and be able to line shop within there. So there is no excuse to not have multiple sports books open because it doesn't cost any money to open a sports book. So your first thing right off the bat, before you even think about, I'm gonna be a sports better, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it the right way, you need to have multiple sports books. If you don't have multiple sports books, you're set up for failure right away because you're not gonna be able to find certain plays and you're not gonna be able to find the best value odds across the board. Now, let's talk about having money, all right? I stress this to a lot of you that watch. A lot of people in sports betting want to start out with a small amount of money, and then they want to make a big amount of money. It always happens. Every single day I get hit up with people that want to take their 5 or $10 parlays and turn them into thousands of dollars. Now, you can start with small money. You can. But here's the problem that you run into when you start with small money. You realize that it's a long-term game. And with small profits that you're gonna make here and there, you tend to get greedy because it's not enough money. Once you realize what the long-term game of sports betting is, you realize you're not gonna make a big amount of money overnight. It's about making small increments here and there and them adding up over time. Now, if you're only betting five or $10 a game, yes, you're probably only gonna make five to ten dollars over the course of a month or thirty dollars over the course of a month that obviously is not going to be enough to satisfy your avid sports better your avid avid gambler because you want to make a ton of money off of small money so i always suggest if you are looking to be serious about sports betting and you want to go into this with a serious you know outlook you need to have money you need to have thousands of dollars saved all right three five ten thousand have that saved to be able to do so. If you couldn't even do that and save that amount of money, what makes you think that you'd be able to sustain doing something that's gonna make you any type of money? You need to understand that before you even think about getting involved in sports betting, think about, do I have the money to be able to do this? Because mentally, if you wanna make money, you need to have money to make money. A small amount of money would be okay, and it's cool to test it, but in the end, you're gonna get greedy and you're not gonna be satisfied with the amount of money that you make because of the time that you put in. And then next thing you know, you'll be putting all your money on one bet. You'll lose it, you'll be back down to zero. It happens day after day after day. I've dealt with thousands of people, guys, thousands. So I know exactly the tendencies that you guys all that are watching right now, I know exactly the tendencies that you guys have. And when it comes to money, you wanna make a big amount of money off a small amount of money. And this is not the game to get that, all right? Because maybe you will get lucky and hit a crazy parlay once in a while, maybe. But 99% of you will not. So if you wanna make consistent money, listen to exactly what I'm telling you right here. You need to have a certain amount of money set aside, a good amount of money set aside. So that way, the return that you get on your investment is worth the time that you're putting into it. Now let's get to having the correct goal structure. So many people don't have structure whatsoever when it comes to sports betting. They watch the big game and they want to go and put their money on the big game because they're sitting back, they're watching it. That's not structure. Okay. Structure is you want to 
take what your bankroll is and you want to structure that out and have a goal. All right. So let's say you have a $10,000 bankroll in the first month you want to make $1,000. Well, the structure behind that would be that's 10 units at 1%, five units at 2%, 3.3 units at 3% for your bet size. It's that simple to realize. So just think if you're betting 2%, you only need to make five units. That's all you need to hit to be able to get your goal. You need to have a goal every single month. If you don't have a goal set out every single month, you don't have the correct structure, you're going to fail. That is what is going to happen in sports betting. You need to have a goal structure set out for each month and for the year overall. Now, this is one of the most important things. Okay, because I've, like I said, I've dealt with thousands of sports bettors, guys, thousands, and I've spoke with them. Most of them, they can't last a week. It's crazy. Most of the time I give people the answers and they still can't last a week. Here's the reason why, because they get too emotional when it comes to losing. You have to understand that emotion is part of the game. All right. You're going to get emotional because you're putting money out there. That is your money. And when you lose, you get upset, you get angry, you want the money back. It happens. You need to understand how to turn those emotions off. The emotion has to be turned off. If you are too emotional, you do not belong in this game. You cannot bet on sports. You will not be able to do it long term because you'll give yourself a heart attack with the emotions every single day. If you live in the day to day emotions, you're going to end up in the hospital. I'll just tell you that right now. You will not be able to do this at a high level and make money consistently if you can't keep your emotions in check. Another thing with consistency is people would bet on games that they shouldn't be betting on because now you have a strategy or something in place. You have your goal set. Next thing you know, there's a big game on TV. You're sitting around with all your boys. You're hanging out. You want to put money on that game. You shouldn't have put money on that game. Next thing you know, you lose. And now the emotions kick in, they snowball. There's so many times that I've got emails where people say, like I said, I give you the answers a lot of the times. I'll give people the answers. And they'll be like, man, Frank, you know, I went and played all your plays and I ended up winning. But then I played some of my plays and ended up losing. So overall, I'm actually down money. That's the stupidest thing you could possibly say to me. Because why would you go out and do your own stuff when the answers are being given to you? So you have to understand that the mentality of a sports better is they want to feel justification that they did the research and they were right. But sometimes you got to just sit back maybe and just let somebody else do the work for you and just give you the answers and be satisfied with it. And don't bet on the big game just because you're watching it. All right. Being consistent and staying, you know, on track on a goal set mind. That is what you need to be able to do to be successful. All right. Another thing is they'll end up taking days off because they made bad decisions. All right. So let's just say, for example, they put in a bad bet. They ended up losing. Well, then they're like, oh, I'm going to take a week or two off. They take a week or two off just to do the same bad thing again once they get started again. That's not being consistent. OK, I've had a lot of people that message me after a day that we lose a couple bets. They're like, yeah, I think I'm going to take a break for a week. Why would you take a break for a week after you lose? You take a week for a, a, a week break after you lose, you're going to miss out on the wins that are going to get all that back. The next thing you know, you're going to start again. You're going to start again on a day that might lose. You can't do that. you got to stay consistent. If you're, you're either all in or you're all out, remember that. You're either going to do this the right way or you don't do it at all. That's how you should live your life. You're either going to do it the right way or you don't do it. That's the exact formula to success. Staying consistent and doing the correct thing and just doing it over and over and over and over again. If you can't do that, you don't belong in this game. It's plain and simple. You're going to fail. You are doomed to fail from the beginning. If you're not a consistent person, if you cannot stay on track, if you cannot stay trying to reach your goal every single month, you will fail. Consistency is key. Now, being able to solve that consistency problem really comes down to a couple things. So if you put your bets in and then just go about your day, you're not sitting there worried. Like there's so many people that will put their bets in and they're sitting there 
flicking their phone, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing their phone, refreshing, trying to see what's going on. What's, what's going on with the plays? Are they winning? Are they losing? That's too much, guys. That emotion right there will, it's not sustainable. You can't do that every single day because then you're going to lose everything you have outside of sports betting because you'll be paying attention to your phone more than anything else. So put in your bets and then put your phone away. All right, put your phone away. Forget about it. That's the only way to be able to live day to day being a sports better. You don't get emotional when you have no idea what's going on. It's that simple. Now, another thing that people need to realize is that even if you win at 60% of the time, you're going to lose 40% of the time. You win 70% of the time, you're going to lose 30% of the time. Losing is inevitable. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. It's how you act when you do lose. That's what dictates if you could be successful or not. If the emotion takes control when you lose, you are doomed to lose your whole entire bankroll. That's just what's going to happen. All right? Because like I said, I've dealt with thousands of people, thousands of people, and they cannot deal with losing. When you lose, there is something in your brain that makes you feel terrible. Next thing you know, it wants you to make bad decisions. So it snowballs and you make bad decisions that go along with your emotions from losing. But once you understand and you cope with losing, it becomes second nature, it becomes nothing. You're like, oh, I lost a game. Oh, whatever, it's on to the next game. Once you achieve that level, then you are way above the rest of people that bet on sports, way above, because it is what it is. Once you put a bet in, it's out of your control. You don't control what's going on in the game. Nothing you do is going to control what goes on. So next thing you know, you got to sit back, relax, and that's, it is what it is. Whatever happens is what happens. That's what you need to realize as a sports better. You don't have control. All right. You can only set yourself up for the best probability of winning. But in the end, it's not up to you. So when it's out of your control, don't get emotional. All right. And when you do feel emotional, put your phone away. Because most of the time, you guys are all on your phone, putting your bets in. Take it, put it away. Because I'm telling you right now, so many people will take their phone out, being emotional, start hammering bad bets. Next thing you know, you put yourself in a hole. You don't want to do that. All right. That is how you can solve the consistency aspect of things. Now, let's get to the strategy part. Having a strategy is everything. You have to have a strategy. Just think about every NFL team each week. They go into a game. They have a game plan. They don't just go into a game and they're like, all right, they look at the quarterback or the offensive coordinator. They're like, all right, you guys just figure it out. Just do whatever you think is going to do to be able to win. No, that is not how it works. All right, they go in with a game plan. There's no different from what you should be doing every day. Every day you wake up, you start to look at bets. You should have a game plan of what, how you're going to attack that, how you're going to attack the NBA, how you're going to attack the NHL, how you're going to attack the NFL, college football, college basketball, how you're going to attack these certain sports. You need to have a game plan. With no game plan, you are doomed. You are going to fail. You are going to lose. You are not going to be able to be successful. If you have no game plan, guess what? You're out of luck. Now, if you guys want my game plan, my strategies, and me to teach you exactly one-on-one -on -one what I do to be successful day in and day out, make sure you guys go and click the link down in the description because it's very important. You need to have the strategies in place to be able to be successful. And if you don't have the strategies in place, you are going to fail, all right? With no game plan, you're going to end up like an NFL team that has no structure. And what is that team? That team is a losing team. That is a team that loses all the games that they play. If there's no structure, if there's no game plan, you're not going to win. You have set yourself up for failure. So every day you wake up, you need to have the strategies. You need to have the game plan set out and ready to go. Now, game plans that work, strategies that work. The strategies that you use need to be back tested. They need to be back tested years, not just a day or two or a week or a couple weeks. A strategy is not something that worked for a week. It's not. So many people have come to me and they DM me and they'll do something for like three or four days and it worked out. And they'll be like, oh, I found the strategy to be able to do this, 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 and this and that. And I'm like, how long have you been tracking it? Oh, for three or four days. Go back to the drawing board. All right. Something needs to work for seasons and, and over the course of years. 
if that works out those are actual strategies strategies are not something that worked for a couple days again using the nfl analogy just because a fake punt worked on this play does that mean every single time they punt the ball they're going to do a fake punt because it worked no that's not how it's going to work all right you need to understand that strategies that work take time and they need to be back tested if they're not back tested then most likely they don't work and if any of you guys are out there and you guys follow other people and you guys try to take other people's picks if they don't have stuff that is back tested and you can't see that the strategies that they use are back tested i wouldn't be following them i wouldn't be using anybody else's stuff because if they can't prove to you that things are working for years and things are back tested guess what they're just as good as you watching them <laughs> they're no better than you all right they're doing exactly what you're doing they just go and get on a roll for a couple days or a week and think that they have the right strategy that works so make sure when you have the right strategies in place those strategies are back tested and you use them for seasons not just for a couple weeks because it's very very important now let's talk about one of the most important things that i get from people that make them not successful okay that make them not successful and this is the key right here to being able to be a successful sports better have that successful mindset really like i said in that three month phase all right you're trying to break all these boundaries to become successful in 90 days this is one of the most important ones stop worrying about the odds people get like every single time a video is posted or something where I talk about a play and it's minus 200, minus 180, minus 250. You get people in the comments, not sustainable. You can't do that. The odds are too high. You got to win at 70%. You got to win at 65%. You got to win at 80% to be able to break even. You have to understand that just because the odds are a certain odd on that play doesn't mean that's what you're doing every single play. If you go out and play a game that's minus 250, and the next game you play is plus 120. What does that mean? That does not mean that you consistently play minus 250s all the time. You're never going to play the same exact odds. The only people that play the same exact odds every time are losing sports bettors. Ones that stick with minus 110 and try to play minus 110 plays every single day, which end up being losers. They end up losing all their money. Happens every single time. Happens every single day. I don't know who wrote the book of trying to teach you guys that playing minus 110s every day, that's the way to be successful. It's just not. All right. You need to stop worrying about the odds so much. What you need to worry about is the odds that you average over the course of years. That's where it comes you know, to be important. If your average odds are minus 150, minus 160, minus 170, my, even minus 200, yeah, you need to win 60 to 70% of the time to be able to make money. But if you're doing the right things and you have the right strategies in place, you can actually make money and hit those percentages. Hence the reason why I show you guys this every single video that I post, every single thing that I post, whether it's a show, a YouTube video, a short, I show you guys exactly. You can win high probability plays and you can win 70% of the time, 80% of the time. You can do it. Most people out there don't believe they can do it. It's because they don't have the right strategies in place. That's why. So stop worrying about the odds. Instead, worry about the average odds that you have. Because if you don't play certain plays because of the odds, you might lose an opportunity to make a little bit of money here and there. Just because a play is minus 200 and you're gonna get half your money back if you win, doesn't make it not a good play, okay? Because that play could have an 80% probability of winning and next thing you know, you skipped it because, oh, I don't play minus 200 or whatever. Instead, you went and played a minus 110 play, you end up losing that while the other person played a minus 200 and they ended up making a half a unit on that. So understand that worrying about the odds is not something that you need to put into your tool belt. You need to understand the most important part is the strategy. The strategy is what is important, not the odds. As long as you can keep a consistent average odds of around, like I said, minus 200-ish average odds throughout the year, yeah, you need to win 70% to make money, but guess what? Go out there and have strategies that win at 70%. It's not that hard, guys. I show you this stuff day in and day out. It's not that hard to be a successful sports better. You just have to do with most sports betters can't do, which is everything that I listed 
in this video. So if you guys want to be successful and you want to get ahead of the curve and stop being like all the rest that just keep donating their money to sports books day after day, month after month, make sure you guys watch all my videos, watch all my content. And if you want me to coach you one on one, you click that link that's down in the description. As always, guys, I'm Frank with Linemaker Sports. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, I'm out.